What's going on everybody? Jackson here and it's great to see all of your smiling faces this week. As many of you know, the reason I did not upload last week was because I did have the virus that has taken over the world of which we do not speak. And you know what? Some streaks were meant to be broken and it's an opportunity to kind of throw perfection to the side a little bit. And since I have been sick, actually guys, it like, I've kind of like obviously negatively impacted my physique. I haven't made any progress. I've kind of like went backwards on some progress to be honest with you, which is to be expected of course, but you know, sometimes we fall into this trap of like, since our physique isn't where we want it to be, we see ourselves as less and everybody deserves to like how they look. So this week I'm actually working with a site called Ask Men and they wanted um, to kind of pick my brain on body image issues for men. And I wanted to make a video about it because they're writing an article with what I have to say, but I really wanted to make a dedicated video for this because I know I've talked about it before, but I wanted to be able to give you guys some actionable insights to be able to like who you see in the mirror starting today. And guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're one of these guys where you're like, no, I'm too manly to talk about my feelings. I'm too manly to talk about how I feel about myself. You can go ahead and click off this video right now. You don't need to be here. That kind of energy is what's hurting you and will continue to hurt you for the rest of your life. So if, you, if you're ready to grow and you're ready to actually like yourself so you can bring that dominant energy everywhere you go instead of bringing fake alpha energy, then stick around this video. But like I said, if not, then just like peace out, man. So let's get you young bulls cozy in your own skin and let's define what alpha means for you by starting with how you look in the mirror. And one more thing before we dive in, guys. My mother and I are la officially launching our podcast called The Happy Grind Movement on Tuesday, January 25th. So I hope to see you guys there. And if you guys want like legitimate, immediate access to it, give me a follow over on Instagram. I'm gonna be putting it on my story. Links, all things considered. Love you guys. Boy, I really do be looking like kind of a homeless man. I got a lot of beardage going on. I'm not gonna say that I hate it right now, but it's definitely a little bit thick. I've gotten past the itchy phase though, which I don't know if I've done for quite some time. But boys, we're dealing with body image issues today and the glasses gotta come off for this one. So point number one, separate social media from reality. It's legit fake, guys. All day we see our behind the scenes and we compare that to somebody else's highlight reel on social media, okay? And it's highly curated. Even my stuff, guys, watch. I'm gonna prove it right now. Here's a picture of me with a badass Cookie Monster mask on after a really, really, really good push day. I had a mean pump, I was feeling good. Now here's a picture of me chilling. You see a little bit of a difference? Night and day, right? That's because I've got a filter over the one picture. There was awesome lighting. I had just gotten a pump. That's not what I look like 99% of the time. But on the other hand, I like to play a good role on Instagram especially as well, because if I post a story of me like this, where I had a pretty good pump, the angle was perfect, my waist looks really small, my arm looks bigger than it is, right? When we get everything right, I will have a story afterwards a lot of the time where I'll tell you guys like, hey look, just want you to remember, there was a lot that went into this picture. I don't just look like this all the time. So bottom line guys, stop expecting to look like everybody you see on social media because most of it is fake. And by fake, I mean highly curated, color corrected, angle was perfect, huge pump, right? And you got no business comparing your chapter whatever to their chapter 45, right? It's gonna hurt you so much more than it's gonna help you. So instead of comparing, try to learn from those people. Point number two I wanna make to you guys is gonna be set your own standards. And I'll say that like, oh yeah, be the alpha, set your own standards. No, no, no. What I mean is like, ask yourself what you want right? Like, what do you want to look like? I have faced a lot of trouble in the fitness industry just because I feel as though I should be bigger. I feel as though I should be leaner. And I've never allowed myself to actually be happy with the physique that I have and acknowledge the progress that I've made. So for example, we see all these different influencers and they're just huge and a lot bigger than us. I almost feel like I owe it to myself because they're doing it that I need to be bigger when I forget I don't wanna be that big. I have no interest in being that big. I want to be lean, I want to be muscular, and I wanna be happy. And I don't wanna be a huge beefcake bodybuilder. I, I have no interest in that. That's not the look that I'm after. Just because other people want to look like Chris Bumstead, and Chris Bumstead is huge, and he's a stud, and he's a pro bodybuilder, doesn't mean you have to want that. 
right? What's the outfits you want to rock? What's the vibe you want to give to people? What do you want to look like in your Instagram pictures, right? This is really important. And if you want to be a big yoked bull, then by all means, full send it, brother. Just because other influencers on Instagram and YouTube are admired for how big and muscular they are, doesn't mean that you even want that. It's just tricking you into thinking that you, oh, well, I have to have that. And since I'm not that, I'm a piece of garbage. No, you're not. You have to define what it is that you want. If you want to be that big, eat a bunch, lift some heavy weights, and get cooking, brother. But if you don't want that, then don't try to trick yourself into saying that you do. Literally could have saved me so much time and effort, you have no idea. All right, guys, now for number three, strut your stuff. Most of you gentlemen out there have awesome features on your physique that you just don't give yourself credit for, right? You might have awesome shoulders, but you're like, oh, but my, my biceps are just so narrow and small, and I just, like, I have to work on it. I have to work on it. It's like, dude, you won't even give yourself credit for your shoulders. What makes you think that when you grow your biceps, you're going to give yourself credit for them? Some of you guys have really naturally nice skin or, like, a really great beard, but you just don't give yourself credit for it because your legs are too small. You gentlemen will not realize what is awesome about you because you're blinded by a canvas that you'll never ever reach. You're trying to shoot for all these unrealistic goals and comparing yourself to everyone under the sun and you never give yourself credit for what you got. Each, every single guy watching this right now, you've got something about you that I probably wish that I had. Every single one of you. Most of you guys just don't have the perspective to be able to give yourself credit. It's a sad life if you only ever notice all of your weaknesses. And as men, you got to notice some strengths, man. Not only do you deserve to see them, but it will improve the quality of your life and you won't feel the need to compare to everybody else if you're always just constantly focusing on what you like about yourself and also wanting to tweak those things that you want to improve. So guys, if you are struggling with your body image and you want to be able to lose weight, build the body of your dreams and actually get fully aligned with who you want to be, build your best self. I have a few more openings for my one-on-one -on -one weight loss coaching and my one-on-one -on -one life coaching. So if you're interested on working one-on-one -on -one with me to build your absolute super self, click that first link down below. Let's book a discovery call, see if we'd be a great fit to work together and get you living your absolute best life, young king. So on that note, everybody, remember, Tuesday, podcast launching, me and my mom. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna actually like get sent a link and like I'm gonna have it right on my story and I might make a post about it who knows but I'm gonna post about it you're gonna find out about it on my Instagram and you guys know I appreciate every single one of you so I'm gonna leave you like I leave you every single video let's keep getting better together let's keep on grinding see you guys in the next one peace out